Is it wrong I just want to go outside with a bunch of water balloons? The water guns will faint to start shooting people with them? No. Alright, I just want to make sure I'm okay. You know, we're, we're all on the same page here that, you know, after playing Splatoon, I'm willing to take a gun, a little paint, just to start shooting the town with paint, and to try to run into the wall, and be like, I'm a squid! <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I feel like, no, let's do that. And, you know, the funny thing is, like, when I go towards that, you know, wall that's full mm -hmm. paint, it's actually an entrance to Hollow. Hi, I'm Jay. <laughs> and I'm Todd, and welcome to Cinematic Cooking, where we take a look at the fictional world and their beautiful and wonderful food. And terrible. Yes, well, all food is wonderful. So what do we got today, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're thinking right now is in your mind going, Raisin Balls. <laughs> Raisin Balls. Raisin Balls. Son of a bitch! <laughs> that was Raisin balls. The funny thing is, before, before I go on and talk about this one, I didn't tell my sister that they were raisin balls. You were telling me that story. And awesome. She, she opens up the refrigerator and she sees these. Oh, you got meatballs with your spaghetti. Takes a fork and she takes a bite and he goes, "Fuck you, Todd. <laughs> Fuck you." <laughs> and I'm just sitting there laughing my butt off, like, what were you doing? I went, playing Man. around. Making food. Yeah. I thought it would be good. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what do we got today, Todd? So, to once again look back at David Letterman, uh, who's now retired from whatever the version of the CBS Tonight Show is, because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Like David Letterman or whatever. Yeah. Um... We decided to take a look at another Ben and Jerry's ice cream. This one is the uh, Stephen Colbert Americone Dream. And this one has been around for a while. Yeah, it's been around. Uh, I think he made it like a big deal on his show. Yeah. Uh, I love the Colbert Report. I thought it's. I think it's one of the best uh, shows out there. Great commentary on our political system. Um, the thing I really liked about it is like. He wasn't Stephen Colbert. He was the Stephen Colbert. Yeah. He was a character of himself poking fun at our politics system yeah. and the Republicans. And he, what it was interesting is but like he was a politician, and that was oh, all not really. Well, like he knew. Oh yeah, he about knew politics. Well, yeah. Well, they, they, those guys, the Daily Show, the Colbert Report, the Nightly Show, mm -hmm. um, they know what they're talking about. Yeah. They do their research. I, I look at them as. I don't want to say they're real journalists, mm -hmm. but I feel like they are. Right. They 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 are they are a parody of the old journalists. You know, I feel like today a lot of journalists they're just looking at the big news stories and see how far they can milk it. Right. You know, or you know the most simplest stories of a man tenderweed burns down their trailer and that's news. That's news. Yeah. Well, that dress that went viral. Oh, yeah, the that dress. Was but Stephen Colbert was just really funny, too. He was very funny, and he never dumped anything down, right. in my opinion. I mean, there were a couple times where I felt like he kind of dumbed it down. But he he made it so I could understand right. it. I never knew what a super PAC was before. I don't know what a super PAC is. It is what I believe will corrupt America's... Um, political system. Gotcha. Um, pretty much. Talk about politics. Pretty much, he puts you put money into a certain candidate. Gotcha. And then you can do whatever the hell you want with it. So um, to commemorate Stephen Colbert not only retiring from the Colbert Report, but also replacing David Letterman, I decided to pick up the Ben and Jerry's Americone Dream. Mm -hmm. uh, this includes vanilla ice cream with fudge covered with waffle cone pieces and caramel swirls. And there better be, in the ingredients, America. There is not. Of course. This is supposed to be the most American ice cream. <laughs> Just point it out there. So, let's see what this baby looks like when we open this up. Ooh. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. I see, yeah, chocolate chip, vanilla, a little bit of caramel in there. Looks pretty good. Let's yeah. Let's get in there for you. Whoa. Caramel. Help me out there. Mm. Mm. 
America. That's when I'm going to start singing in America. I'll drink Raymond Eagle. America. America. Did you know that, like, the Mighty Giants wrote the theme? Theme uh, song for 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 the show? Oh, no, I did not. I thought that was... All right, I'm going to put back my uh, squid tentacles. Oh, and my. I know. I oh, know, you know, the whole time, like, when they were talking about Splatoon and the, you know, technicals. Mm -hmm. All I'm thinking was a hentai. Um, that already happened, dude. Yeah. All right, let's, let's see what this is. Caramel. Like caramel. Hmm. This is good. I like I like um, Jimmy Fallon's ice cream a little bit better. I think there was a little bit more more fire. Oh, that's where I'm more, more taste, different tastes. Um, in that one, this one's not as sweet. This one tastes like butter pecan. And believe it or not, I don't really care for butter pecan. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's turning me off about this ice cream. I mean, it's good. But it tastes like butter pecan. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But I do like the caramel. I think the rolfo cone kind of makes up for it. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. And it also tastes like, well, I guess caramel ice cream because there's caramel in it. Mm -hmm. But... It reminds me of butter pecan. And then, that's good. I mean, how do you, how would you rate this to the Jimmy Fallon? That tonight dough. Um, that's tough because I did say that the Jimmy Fallon one is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, this one's not as sweet. That's. I'm gonna give this one a six. Only because, like I said, I don't care for butter pecan too much. Um, and I'm just not getting that Americanness out of it. It comes right down to it. This should have been red, white, and blue. It should have been. You know? That wouldn't have been America. And then what you do is you put Pop Rocks in it to give it, like, that fireworkness. And a dose of diabetes. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's a staple. Other than that, what would you rate it? Um... I give it a six. Um, I, I agree with you. It does taste like butter pecan. Um, mm -hmm. I taste the caramel. I taste the chocolate cone fudge. But in reality, it's just vanilla mm -hmm. mixed in with caramel. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really scream anything great or taste. It doesn't scream America. No. It doesn't scream America. Um, you know what screams America? Eagles. Of course. This does not. This doesn't have an eagle on here, which really is really disappointing. Yeah. Stephen Colbert, make another ice, better ice cream. I, I think, they, they did it with Jimmy Fallon. They had another ice cream before the Tonight Dough. Something tells me they're going to make another one. You think so? For I think they might too. But other than that, though, I got nothing else to say about this one. Except oh. I'm wearing your Splatoon hat. All I'm going to say is I found this, like, this was on the very back at Myers. <laughs> it was, like, covered with ice. Oh, and, wow. And I was just like, hey, at least I found it. Yeah, true. Um, um, so other than that, got anything else to say? I can't wait for you, the host. I'm excited for it because you're not going to be in character, and that's what's going to be really exciting mm -hmm. about it. Um, so I'm curious to see how your, your stand-up is really going to be. Um, going to talk a little bit about The Daily Show, too, before I, uh, end this thing. I can't wait for him to retire. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Trevor North taking the hosting job. Yeah. Um, it's going to look different, but the thing that people should really be excited about, because I really think he's going to do this, is going to go on stand-up tours, Jon Stewart. And I think he's going to be funny. Oh, I think that. he's going to be top of his game. Is this the first time he's done it? It's going to be his first time he's done it probably like 20 years. Oh, wow. I really think I think he's going to direct another film, mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, Wackerman, Rosewater, uh, fantastic film. And, yeah, I think he's going to direct a couple more films. I think he's going to do stand-up. I think he's going to disappear for a little bit because I think he wants to spend time with his family, yeah. too. But I'm excited for everything coming from Stephen Colbert, Jon Stewart, Trevor North, uh, have you seen the nightly show? I recommend it. Um, I don't. I don't usually watch any of those. Um, but I need to. 
People tell me I really need to, but I'm like, you know and what? You're I'm not missing too much if you skip the nightly show. Mm -hmm. Um, but all right then. Well, that was cinematic cooking, and this was the Americone Dream. We'll see you next time, and I'll see you. Yeah. I'm you. Todd, and I'm Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and I do that what? What? It's not. It's gonna be hell against you. See you next week. I'm still weakness. <laughs> okay.